Steve Wright, Director of Engineering Services with Sequel Century, and this is the Sequel Century suite of products. Okay. We actually have a couple different products here that integrate within the same console. Event Manager is our first product and gives you an Outlook style calendar view across your servers to help monitor your jobs, packages, reporting services, reports, across any size environment. You can see that activity, automate responses, alerting, even chain events across servers. Uh, and it's been out for about seven years now. Our other product is Performance Advisor that gives you in-depth performance monitoring, both the real-time as well as historical performance metrics, anything from long-term trends to jumping into a specific time frame in my recent history where somebody reported maybe that the server is running slow. Okay. I can easily jump to those time frames, highlight something, and jump right in and see, okay, for that time frame, we're going to see my I'll in on that stage. Sure. Uh, Okay, so I see a peak or a valley in some of my performance metrics. It looks like a bottleneck, and I can jump right in and see, well, what were the top SQL statements that were executing at that time, or the blocks or deadlocks, or even jump back over to the, the calendar view and see maybe it was when a backup or an index rebuild or something kicked off. So okay. you can easily drill in and correlate the specific events that you're seeing there, okay. like top SQL. Any SQL statements that run beyond a duration or a, a CPU or I.O. threshold will automatically be captured here. So I can see that for any historical time frame and what were the, the highest impact queries that might have been either causing or being impacted by those performance bottlenecks. And a big new feature in version 6, we can drill even further down and provide execution plan analysis for those top SQL statements. We actually collect the execution plan, we give you a, a graphical view uh, an improvement on the, the native tools where you can actually see color-coded the uh, high-cost operations so you can quickly identify what's going on there and uh, even see the complete stack of statements in this case nested dynamic SQL that actually generated this statement and we can show you the entire stack there so you can identify where these queries come from. Okay, cool. A lot of other unique features such as our graphical disk activity view, actually patent pending functionality that allows you to peer into your disk system and see, like right now I have very high read latency, the, the lines coming out of the files here, these individual boxes are actually my data files and log files and I can see with the thick red that I've got some heavy read latency going on right now on this server. Okay. Uh, other types of things we can provide are graphical deadlock analysis. We give you a complete graphical view of the deadlock, I can easily see what was involved, the resources, the order in which the locks were applied, so I can step right through and see how the deadlock developed right down to the statements that were being generated by those processes at the time of the deadlock. And then we do a lot of the same visibility for analysis services as well. And that can focus on the analysis services engine, show you formula versus storage engine time, processing versus querying, your memory utilization, disk activity, and then show you your top running MDX, DMX, or XMLA queries as well. Uh, on the query level, show you the, the storage engine versus formula engine time and, and show all this activity. Everything's really correlated and synchronized within the same console. I'll show these top SQL statements and top, top analysis services queries on the event manager calendar view alongside those jobs and reports and integration services packages to really give you a complete view across the entire BI platform for SQL Server. All from one console. Very cool. Okay, and I've just got one extra question for you, Steve. Sure. I'm, uh, I'm a very, very much an SSIS guy myself. Okay. Inspection services. Are you planning anything around inspection services for the future? Given that it's now going to be a server product in Denali, there's possibly a lot more potential for monitoring there, things like that. Well, I, is, I don't know about the future, but uh, currently in our event manager product, we can drill down and show you step level details for the integration services packages. Okay. So right there, with another click, I can drill in and see any specific error or warning messages that are generated by the packages with a couple more clicks of the mouse. So Good stuff. That's the kind of uh, drill-in detail we're providing today with Event Manager. Good stuff. Okay, thanks very much, Steve. Appreciate it. Thank you.